Hey, everybody, it's Paul from the Anderson team. I am here today with my good friend, Jill Sheldon from Jill Sheldon and Co. Home Loans, CMG Financial, our amazing preferred lender. And we figured what better day to talk about lending and what the market looks like if you've been paying attention. I know we've been getting calls. Everybody's kind of getting whiplash if you try to watch the stock market. And what does that really mean? when it looks at interest rates and housing, are they even related? Um, do they have any correlation? So I wanted to bring Jill on to give us her uh, July predictions for the rest of the year, since she knows all. Uh, wanted, <laughs> oh, hey now. <laughs> hey now. I want her to kind of talk about what, what is really going on behind the scenes in terms of lending, where are rates at, where are they going? And, and does the stock market really matter? Uh, should we be watching that? And how does it work? So I just like, like gave you a ton of stuff, Jill. So I'm going to step back and we'll listen to you. I'll try and unpack it all. Uh, hey. One thing at a time. Um, first and foremost, there's been some really uh, good news for, for homeowners over the last few weeks. Um, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uh, essentially buy all conventional home loans. And they stepped in months ago and said, hey, for people that are refinancing, we're going to make it essentially more expensive to refinance um, because we're concerned about the market being a, an adverse market. There's a lot of opinion on whether or not that was the case. But regardless, they essentially tell everybody what how they're going to walk and like perform in, in the, the loan world. So we all had to follow suit. Anyhow, they have uh, officially taken that away as of August 1st. So that adverse market fee uh, essentially was a half a per, half a point to the discount point. So it wasn't directly on the interest rate, but what that means for people to refinance now is a tremendous win because they basically just set the, the refinance rates back to what purchase rates are. Um, so that's no longer on there. Um, and you know, that's a tremendous amount. Like if you're looking at a $350,000 loan, that's a $1,700 cost savings, just like right off, right off the bat. So that was something that was very welcome uh, to all of us in the industry that uh, we are very happy that the homeowners now uh, have a big win there. Um, so uh, secondary to that is, you know, interest rates. Um, where are they going? How are they, how are they set? How are they affected by the stock market? And essentially when the stock market is in a free fall and it's having difficulties, um, mortgage rates get better. Uh, they look get lower because people that ha they're having the fear of investing in different stock securities, they move over to the bond market, which is what uh, the 30 year fixed is tied to. So uh, it's, it's kind of a, a unique perspective as a homeowner where if you want lower rates, the economy needs to be more uncertain. <laughs> so it just kind of tells you like, you know, strike while the iron is hot. Um, it is, rates are absolutely great right now. You know, you're looking just depending on, you know, where, uh, where your credit score is and down payment, you know, they're still at historic lows. You can still get in the twos. Um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, one thing though, that I, I really caution everybody is to do your homework when you are out, you know, looking at different interest rates because they're not created equal. Um, if you think about like, a, like tra everybody's traveling this summer, right? We are all getting back into like exploring the world. And, you know, when you're looking at hotels, right? You might find a special where it's like 199 for this amazing hotel room. And you're like, yes. Um, sign me up, you get there and you're at the front desk and they're like, oh, but um, on top of the 199, there is a resort fee for $50 a day, a parking fee of 29 and oh, you have to pay for Wi-Fi. When you're like, well, my 199 just didn't uh, become as attractive. I should have locked in the 225 all inclusive. Right. Um, mortgage rates can be a little bit similar to that, you know, so I just, you know, caution everyone, get everything in writing, um, like get a full breakdown of, of the fees, um, because an interest rate, anyone can quote an interest rate, right? Um, but it is, what are you paying for that? So, you know, you just make sure you do your homework and, you know, there's so many trusted people that are around that you can reach out to and just say, hey, you know, what? It's such a fabulous point though. And I, I would encourage everybody that's watching all of our clients and future clients, like you can hop on any website and say, what's the mortgage rate today? And you're going to get some crazy advertisement that's kind of going to go, you know, whatever it is. The one thing that we have always appreciated about our partnership with Jill is she will give an honest look at whatever's presented to you by another mortgage provider and tell you if she can beat it or not uh, and what it looks like. Because again, the math is confusing when you start looking at all the different fees, what the real rates are, the APR, 
all the craziness. If you didn't like high school math or college math, just leave it to Jill. Let her help you out. Let her help figure it out. So here, here's my other question for you, Jill, because obviously uh, I know, I think with people are trying to figure out what do I do? Is it still a good time to buy? Obviously interest rates are great. Home prices are definitely rising. We've talked about that a lot from appreciating value and, and where they're gonna go, supply demand. That's a call for a whole different day. But with the feds talking about their interest rate production predictions, what do you think? Where do you think interest rates are gonna go in the rest of this year and into next year? Obviously, if we haven't learned anything as a society in the last 18 months, it's anything's possible. But based off of that, what do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Um they knock on wood should stay fairly stable uh, for the, for the near time uh, in, in the future. They will absolutely go up. Um, the Fed has uh, reaffirmed its commitment to uh, quantitative easing, which basically just means they will continue to buy mortgage-backed securities, um, you know, at the level they are presently at. But that will taper off, and when that tapers off. Um, you're going to see interest rates start to, to creep up, uh, you know, above and beyond just the overall economy and everything that factors into, um, you know, the interest rates as a whole. So, yeah, so perfect. So it's not like it's an urgent, you got to take advantage of today. Rates are rising. It's definitely something that we see even then in the threes is still historically low. I mean, this is, this is some unprecedented times. I'm sick of that word, but it is, it's unprecedented times. Uh, so we appreciate it. Any last words of advice for everybody watching, Jill? Absolutely. Well, it's just as much as I say things should stay stable, like Paul had mentioned, anything is possible. So, you know, don't get too comfortable that everything is going to remain the same. If you are if you are looking at buying and the, you know, the numbers shake out and the payment makes sense, maybe you're paying the same amount that you would for rent, you know, make that step because, you know, God forbid, the it market changes and the rates go up, even if the house prices stay the same, you're going to be paying more for that same house because you waited. So um, same goes for refinancing too. If you find something that you're happy with and it, it means a sizable, you know, uh, improvement for your family, you know, don't, don't, tr not that you don't, you don't have to listen to me, but we all naturally want to hit the bottom of the bottom, right? The problem is you don't really know what the low of the low is until we start going back up. So if you're happy with what the numbers shake out to now, you know, rest your, like sleep well at night knowing that you have absolutely hit the low of the market. It might not be the lowest, but you are certainly down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but all of our clients that bought two years ago, let's say when interest rates were higher, if you haven't looked at where they're at, looked at your refi options, where you're at from an equity perspective right now, which is phenomenal, um, this is a great time to revisit. We'll have all of Jill's contact information. It's below, no matter what medium you're watching this, you'll be able to find her and reach her. Um, this is a great time to uh, to be an investor, to be a, a buyer, to be a home owner for sure. I'd rather be spending my money with these amazing interest rates than the ridiculously high rents that are out there right now. So with that, thank you, Jill. We appreciate your partnership, everybody. Feel free to reach out to Jill with all your questions. Send her an email, hop on her website, give her a call. She answers her phone and she will be there to help you out. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.